The new age of Team Zeal has begun. If you want to join, join the Pojo forums and post on the Zeal thread. We need good, active battlers. And, you know, join the Pojo forums anyway. It's a cool place. Hey guys, I have a match here with Char Bang, and I really have no other way. I can't really pronounce that any other way, so I have no idea. But um, yeah, he leads with an Azelf, I lead with Jirachi, and um, we're battling on the Pojo forms here. Um, I guess so. There you go. Um, yeah, I go for the Iron Head, figuring that I'm scarfed and I'll outspeed it, and maybe get the flinch because of Jirachi's Serene Grace. And I do get the flinch, and that forces him to switch out into Dust Noir, and I get some okay damage off on it with Iron Head. So now I go into Vaporeon because I really don't know what he's going to do, and um, if he goes for the Will O Wisp, I'd rather have Vaporeon burn than anything else. So yeah, um, we both get leftovers, and he's now going to switch into Snorlax. And I just protect to see what he's go else he's going to do. And um, I really don't want to stay in against Snorlax, so I decide to go in Jirachi because I think it's going to curse or body slam. And um, yeah, he goes for the body slam. And now I'm just going to go for the trick because, um, you know, a Snorlax with Choice Scarf is pretty epic. And he so that's pretty good. And um, anyway, he decides to. And um, he's going to go f lock himself into the Fire Punch, which is pretty good, I guess, against Jirachi. But um, now I can go into Salamence and take it. But he switches. Pretty good switch for him. Um, because he also switches, and he goes into Celebi. And I was not expecting this to be a Choice Scarf uh, Celebi with um, Hidden Power Ice, but that's what it is. So he goes for the Hidden Power Ice, and he takes down my Salamence, which really sucks, because... Um, I was testing out the Salamence. Um, it's my new mix mats because I keep getting raped by them, so I decided just to make one myself. But yeah, I go into Jirachi on the Switch um, because I know he's locked into Hidden Power Ice, and I decide to go for the Stealth Rocks, and I set them up. And um, yeah, I go for the Fire Punch here because I don't think he'd be expecting it, and um, yeah, I get the burn. So thank you, Jirachi Hacks. And he goes for the sub, and then he gets burned to death, which is hilarious. So, yeah, now he's just going to get burned to death, which is funny as hell. And, um, yeah, he's just really hating Celebi right, or Jirachi right now. So, yeah, he, now he goes into Celebi, and I really don't want him to Earth Power me, so I go into Zapdos, and he just goes for a U-turn, which doesn't do anything to Zapdos anyway. So, yeah, he U-turns out into um, Snorlax. And um, I know this thing's going to be locked into a move, and I don't think any moves a Snorlax has can really hurt Zapdos, so I decided to just go for the Thunderbolt to see what he locks himself into. And he tries to go for the Fire Punch, which does nothing. Um, but I really see no reason to switch, since he did, did, like, nothing to me, and I'm actually doing some decent damage with Thunderbolt. So I go for the Thunderbolt again, he goes for the Fire Punch, and he gets a burn, which is kind of lame. But um, now I think he's going to switch, which ends up being an amazing prediction for me, because I think he's going to switch out here, and he goes into Celebi, and I go for the Heat Wave, which is epic. And to make it even more epic, this is the third burn hacks this match, because I got a burn with Heat Wave. So yeah, I end up burning the Celebi, which is hilarious. And, um, yeah, it's the third burn hacks this game. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, he goes for the Leaf Storm, and it's not very effective on Zapdos, and I just decided to go for the Roost, you know, because I don't think he... I, I really didn't think he'd be able to kill me with Hidden Power Ice either. Um, maybe. I don't even know. But, yeah, he gets burned to death, and that's pretty epic. And, um, Zapdos is still pretty high health here. So now he's going to go into Zelf, and I think he's either going to explode or set up Stealth Rocks, so I decide just to go for the Thunderbolt, because that'll kill him no matter what, really. But instead he goes for the Psychic, and um, I guess that does a reasonable amount of damage, but uh, Thunderbolt will KO the Zelf. So there, dead Zelf. And um, unfortunately for me, though, now Zapdos is at a pretty low amount of health, so he's going to be able to get finished off by this incoming Infernape. Um, and the Infernape goes for the Fire Punch, and um, that's not too good because that will KO Zapdos. So that uh, blows. So I go into Vaporeon, and I'm just going to go for the Protect here, fearing that he might have the T-Punch. But instead he just tries to go for the Close Combat, which I know I can live because this Vaporeon is tr uh, EV trained in defense and stuff. So yeah, I survive it actually really well, um, with a, like a little less than half health left. And I go for the Surf, and that will take down the Infernape. And his only Pokemon left um, that can really hurt Vaporeon at all is Dusk Noir, because all he has left is uh, Dusk Noir and... Um, gee, what is the... I don't even remember what else. It's something that's not even that good. Not Well, something that really can't hurt Vaporeon, I believe. Now, now it's going to bother me. Shoot. 
What is it? Oh yes, it's Snorlax. He has Snorlax remaining. So yeah, I go for the wish, and um, I just kind of I kind of figured now that's kind of stupid because this thing probably has Pain Split. So yeah, I'm just gonna start hitting with Surf now. So that's what I decide to do. And um, yeah, this guy does have Pain Split, so it's actually gonna be kind of annoying because after I get this uh, wish, um, he's gonna Pain Split, and you know what? I just figure I'm just gonna keep Vaporeon in, let him die, let him just kill Vaporeon, so I can uh, wither down this Dust Nora's health a bit. So that's what's gonna happen in this next couple of minutes, I guess. Um, it's kind of boring, I know, but it kind of has to be done, because once I get this Dust Noir low enough, I can just go into my Choice Band Mamoswine for the win, which is another Pokemon I've been wanting to test. Good thing that one did something, this video. So yeah, he goes for the Pain Split here, does, um, as you can see, heals Dust Noir quite nicely, and damages Vaporeon a lot. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep going for the Surf to get his HP down to the point that Dust or uh, Mammoth Swine can finish him. So I go for the Surf, and he goes for the Brick Break for some reason. I guess just showing off that he has it. I don't know. And, um, yeah, he I get burned again, and, um, yeah. <sighs> okay, so he goes for the Shadow Sneak, and that does nothing, really. And I'm just going to go for the Surf, and um, that's going to be the last Surf I am able to get off, because another Shadow Sneak will finish me after the burn. So, yeah, I get burned. He finishes me off here with Shadow Sneak. Um, and um, pretty much I go into Mammoth Swine for the win, because I outspeed both Snorlax and um, Dust Noir and Earthquake you know, with Choice Band is pretty powerful on Mammoth Swine. So, yeah, good game, um, uh, Char Bang, or whatever. And, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. And, um, yeah, just a really nice match. So, join Pojo. We are epic. <laughs> See if my Jedi mind tricks work. Alright, peace, dudes. See you next time. Rate, comment, subscribe, y'all. Today's question of the day is, which is your favorite of the new Rotom forms? I like the Rodin Heat form, um, but Cut form is kind of cool, too, because it looks like... I don't know. It's either Cut or Heat. I'll go with Heat, just because it's good in this metagame.